All right, hello there. I am Pumpa01, and we are getting ready to start the Double Teams Fit Spot Chance League. And this is Show 6C, so let's take a look at the competitors involved. Well, look at the teams that are involved in the Fit Spot Chance for the Double Team Division. So those are the four teams. And. Let's take a look right quick at the rules before we get started. These are the rules, and I'm going to explain them one time, one time only. So, here we go right quick with the rules in English. Oh, my bad. Right here, for Fist by Chess. And let me explain it to you right here. So, we have False Count Anywhere, Give Up, up Turned On, Rope Break is Turned Off. Blood is on, no tag form, as in this is tornado style rules. We have time decisions turned on, quick matches turned off, TKO is turned on, pinfalls turned on, and it's 10 minutes. As you can see, that's pretty much everything the same. And we can go on to here. Now, before we actually get started, let's make sure it's on the hardest difficulty. It is. And enjoy the first match. So what we may end up doing with this is we may what what well, I said we're gonna probably end up doing oh so with this we may go into like the 30 minutes you know and then it may be in two parts just because there's four of them which means we have not just three matches but probably gonna have instead of three matches we have six matches you know who knows how long these are gonna go so we may just do it every 30 minutes and it may be in just two parts or we may have to go into the third part because overtime but for right now just enjoy the first matchup One thing I would like to say about this game is that I would do like false count anywhere for the entire like you know division like for you know qualifiers for spot chance rank match no one contender and title match but the only reason I don't do that and only have it on false count anywhere for like the fifth spot chance qualifiers and the fifth spot chance those that tournament in that league or is it set up like this is because it's not you know elimination team elimination like for a reason you know virtual pro wrestling 64 has tag team elimination you know but they took it off for virtual pro wrestling 2 which is I find strange because I was like man like this could have tag team elimination as well that would be extra cool and like I'll actually do matches and have the be elimination with the false count anywhere rules or whatever but that seemed to me even better you know because it's not just the match is over after you eliminate one person but I guess they probably didn't like the fact that like if you get outside the ring just because the teammate was it was eliminated, they don't leave the game in on here. You know, they won't leave the arena once they eliminate. It only really happens with um one mode and one mode alone, and that's the battle royale or the yeah the battle royale, or whatever. But the thing is, once it's down to the final four competitors, 
The Fighting Four competitors do not leave ringside even after being eliminated. And that stuff really hampers the game in my opinion because like when you do just a regular like battle royale where if you got if you got ring out with the battle royale like you leave if you got the ring you're eliminating the battle royale when it's done to the final four people the two the first person the second person when they're on the outside the ring if they want they could pull you out from the bottom from under the ring from beneath the bottom rope and eliminate you which I always find weird because like I always thought it was like the top rope is elimination but I guess that's like that should be what it should be because like you have a lot of times in actual pro wrestling where people will get get thrown out the ring through the second or ro or get sl slid through the ring through the bottom rope and like they're technically still in the match because they didn't go over the top rope and both feet touch the ground which is kind of weird you know because you're out of the ring and the whole match the whole purpose of the match is to stay in the ring the longest but they can stay on the outside for a little while and recover and just get back in the match but like that's what actual pro wrestling. I actually see it done before with video games as well. I forget which one I was playing. I think it was playing um SmackDown. Shut your mouth, but wait, was I was that person still in the match? I'm not sure. I'm thinking they were, but they probably were eliminated. I'm not sure, but like yeah, it's just that it should make sure that you know. If you get out of the ring, period. Once you enter the ring, getting out of the ring in any sort of way, you're eliminated. But I I know why they do over the top because over the top rope seems like more profound than just throwing somebody out the ring. Because if that was the case, somebody could throw somebody out through the second rope, you know. But in, if you know, rarely are you capable of knocking somebody over the top rope and the THQ aka AKI wrestling games these wrestling games usually when they somebody's near the ropes and they get knocked out the ring it's usually through the second rope sometimes it can be over the top rope but like usually it's through the second rope and it's still the same thing I like the way the Smackdown games do the Royal Rumble better especially um well, the only one I actually owned was Shut Your Mouth, but I played the other ones, the ones before that. I never, I don't, I don't think I ever played um, Here Comes the Pain, but I watched plenty of video of it, and I just like the way the game plays and stuff like that. Like, out of a lot of rest of the games, that's probably my favorite one as far as, like, what's it called? Um, physics-based combat, as far as, like, the grappling goes. Like, I was watching this video for a tournament and it's super long or whatever with the tournament but basically what it had was like it had like every it utilized the tournament had every it was hardcore rules and they had every single character on the game in the tournament and it was just random matches and like the best thing about it was that like when it was like female wrestlers versus like the male wrestlers like I think one match was like jazz versus who was she up against? It was either Rock or somebody. But the thing is, like, when she tried to, like, pick the Rock up, she had difficulty trying to do it because, you know, he's a different weight class to her. So, like, she could just unmagly lift him up and toss him out. I mean, lift him up and um slam him or whatever. She couldn't unmagly pick him up. Which I think a lot more video games need to have because, like, you shouldn't have Rey Mysterio suplexing or body slamming Big Show ever. You know? Or Kofi Kingston or anybody for that matter. Only like a select few of people can even get him off the ground. But like, if they, even when, and especially even when it's like a double team, like when the Shield does it, it takes them some effort to pick him up when they used to do the triple power bomb with him. It took some effort for them to like pick him up and get him in position to do that because like 
he's a big dude. He's over 400 pounds. You know, you can't just do that with ease. Even when just picking him up by yourself, like even with people your size, they pick him up by themselves. That's a lot of weight to be trying to lift over, pick up with your body. I mean, even if you squat, pick him up or wherever, like that's a bunch of weight to try to uh, lift in the air, I should say. Yeah, stepping over my words. But yeah, like, that's a game I want to do simulations for. But like, what I feel about those sort of games is like, I haven't played them, so I can't really make no claim about anything about them. But I know for a fact that we um smack those shut your mouth. Like, it seems like certain wrestlers like they got a better chance of beating other wrestlers, but not all the time. Because what I like to do with games where it seems like a certain wrestler gonna always win because like just because the way the game is made or whatever like that with the rate. Ratings. Thank God, that they'll shut your mouth. Don't have ratings. I'm not sure if Here Comes the Pain does. I'm pretty sure it does, though. So it has ratings. I think that was the first game they put ratings on. Could be wrong. Because I, I never played. I watched videos, but I never played the um, Day of Reckoning games. I'm pretty sure they probably didn't have ratings. But the ratings thing is just. I just feel like it's stupid to have with the rest of the games because they base the Raiders off of not actual ability or anything like that. They just base it off of what's been going on with them as far as like, you know, like TV wise with the storylines and stuff like that. Like, because this shit goes up and down. Like, one minute, um, what's, what's it? Who, who's the wrestler I was trying to give as up? Uh, oh, yeah. Kofi Kingston shit used to be like, I think like high, low 80s or high 70s. And then his shit was like, um, what was it? I think his shit was almost 90 when he was world champion. But like almost 90 when he's world champion. But I bet you now they gonna put his shit back in like low 80s again because like it makes no sense because they're not based off of how good he's is or whatever like that. They just base it off of this or that. But like the thing is like his ratings should be high all the time for like high fly moves. Like strip like power and stuff like that. That's gonna be low speed, high fly and stuff like that. Of course that's gonna be high. For recovery. Almost every baby baby face should have great endurance or recovery just because like you know, they, that's why they never lose most of their matches. Because they always got the comeback ability. And that's after getting beat up and wear down for a round. So they got good endurance. Oh, cool. They won. Oh, damn. I was talking during that whole entire match. Uh, well, good. Congratulations to... I call them, what, DT Funk? Or the Funk Bros? reason that I named them DT Funk is because if they ever win the titles, that's going to be their name. DT Funk. You know? I mean, TD Funk. Yeah, TD Funk. I said DT Funk. Well, either way, but yeah, it's TD Funk. Yeah, so that's why I'll name them if they ever um, win the titles for their tag team name. Some of them would just be like... Some of them I will um, have to like get creative with, or I'll just use their first, first and last letters, and that's how I'll set them up. All right, enjoy that smash. I'll try not to talk Jordan. Yeah, because there's a few, there's a few wrestling games that I want to like do simulation tournaments for, you know. Just because in a couple games I want to just do simulations for it. Anyway, do something similar to what I'm doing with um, Virtual Progressive 2. Probably won't have as many titles. I think for um, Pick Comes 
here comes the pain. I'll have multiple titles. I'll even have weight classes for them. You know, have a women's division and a cruiserweight division and probably even a super heavyweight division along with the heavyweight division. All because they got the actual, like, as I explained earlier, the um, physics-based combat but as far as, like, the grappling with, like, weight classes. Like, if you're a different weight class, yeah, you go and do certain stuff with certain people. Which is weird because, like, on here, you got all... Well, here you got all the like junior heavyweights can pick up freaking Fedor. I mean, not. Oh my God, I'm thinking of MMA. But they, their names are almost. It's not similar, but it's almost like it's similar to me sometimes. Who I was thinking of? Who was I thinking of? Oh yeah, I was thinking of uh, Vader. Like, like, um, who's in the ring right now? You got a freaking Tiger Man in the ring. He can pick up Vader. Him, Dragon Kid, all of them. They can pick up Vader. I mean, Va I keep on saying Vader. I think it's Vader. I just said Vader. Vader. Big Van Vader. I think I just got to say the whole thing while I'm talking about him. Even Stan Hansen. He, he's a 300 punch pounder as well, I believe. Is he 150 kilos? He's... No, I don't think it's 300 pounds is... Okay. No, 150 kilos is 330 pounds. I think, um, because it's 30 pounds. So, let's see. What does it say? Every 10... What is it? Every 10 pounds... Yeah, every 10 pounds... No, every five kilos is 11 pounds. Yeah. So, 300 pounds would be about what? About what? Um, five, 10, 15. No, after 100, 100 kilos will be 200 and two yeah 100 kilos will be 220 pounds then five kilos equals 80 pounds i mean five kilos equals 11 pounds so i mean that'll be five ten fifteen 40. that don't make that don't, that don't sound right Or does it? Oh, uh, that'll be four, 40 kilos will still get you. 40 kilos will get you 300. Oh, yeah, because um, 40 kilos will get you. Two, 40 kilos will get you 88 pounds. Yeah, 40 kilos will get you 88 pounds. So it's not 40. So it's probably what? 35 or 36 yeah 36 so 136 kilos will get you 300 pounds 136 okay that makes sense I'm gonna stop talking during this about stuff that doesn't really matter for this game or this tournament
think I got it set up wrong. I think it was supposed to be the... I know it don't play too big of a factor, but to me, it plays a factor in how it takes for Forbes. Like, J Do and G Do, they, um. It seems like they team performs better where I have it set a certain way for their um, team. Like, G Do and then J Do as the second person for their team, seems like they perform better versus J Do and G Do, you know. Oh crap, you got that bat. Good thing it's not, you know, blood stoppage on here. And I think I did it for the wrong way for like Andre the Giant and freaking um, Tiger Mask. Cause yeah, when they beat the champs and stuff like that, it was um, the other way, I believe. Hopefully that doesn't mess them up. It shouldn't though. All right, I'm gonna stop talking.
Oh. It's a time decision they lost. God damn. Oh. I may have screwed this team over because I thought it was supposed to be the other way around with. Because I didn't even put it on it the way it's supposed to be because I, I should have did a practice match. I swear. Should have did another practice match. Man, well, I'm not sure about so I got to do practice matches. Shit. All right, so that is this video. We'll end it right here. I'll save it onto the a, a, um, poker game that's on the phone. Got to do something with that. All right, so that ends this video. Next up will be the other matches. I'll have the teams that have a win. They'll be facing off with the teams that have a loss. And then we'll have the two teams with the lowest scores face off and then we'll have the team basically the team that still has no losses will be the final match they'll be the final match all right it took the next one later